Hey guys, welcome back to Storytime with Tilly. I hope you are all doing well and having lots of fun reading stories together with family and friends. Our story today is going to be a Winnie the Pooh story. And the title of the story is The Scavenger Hunt. Let's dive in. Scavenger Hunt. Christopher Robin was sitting on a tree stump in the Hundred Acre Wood. It was a beautiful late summer afternoon, and he was waiting to say hello to his friends. Hello, Christopher Robin, Pooh said as he and others arrived. What shall we do on this very fine day? Why don't you all go on a scavenger hunt? Christopher Robin suggested. Tiggers love scavenger hunts, Tigger yelled. Then he paused. What is a scavenger hunt exactly? He asked, scratching his beard in confusion. He looked at Pooh, Piglet, Roo, and Eeyore, but they all shook their heads, too. A scavenger hunt is a game of looking for things, Christopher Robin explained to his friends. What kind of things? Rabbit asked. Christopher Robin thought for a moment. Oh, let me think. Why don't you look for a small jar of honey, a purple flower, and a red leaf? Then he smiled and added, I also want you to find the greatest thing in the whole world. Pooh was confused. Isn't honey the greatest thing in the whole world? He asked. Honey is pretty sweet, Christopher Robin said. But there's something even greater. Something even greater than honey? Pooh said. We must find it. The friends went to Pooh's house first to find a small jar of honey. His smallest jar was high up on the shelf. Pooh pointed it out to his friends. It was the perfect size for carrying on a scavenger hunt. Pooh looked around. But how will we get it down? He wondered aloud. Climb up on my shoulders, Tigger suggested. Pooh did as Tigger suggested. He could reach the middle shelf and the big jar of honey, but not the smaller one. Rabbit, can you help too? Pooh asked. Of course, Rabbit replied. Rabbit climbed on top of Pooh and stretched out his arm. I can't quite reach it either, Rabbit said. Rabbit looked down at the smallest member of their group. Roo, could you hop up here, please? Sure, Roo said. He bounced up onto Rabbit's back and managed to grab the small jar of honey. He dropped it down to Kanga, who caught it gently in her bag. We found our first scavenger hunt item, Kanga said. Now we need a leaf and a flower, Pooh said as they walked out of his house to start searching for the next item. Does anybody remember which should be red and which should be purple? No one could quite recall. Well, here's a red flower, Pooh said, bending down to pick a flower growing near his front door. And it smells nice. Then it's perfect. Kanga said. Everyone else agreed. Roo looked around the base of the tree near Pooh's house. Kneeling down, he grabbed a big yellow leaf. I found a leaf, but it's not purple, he said excitedly, showing the others. I think I have some purple paint at my house, Rabbit said. We can paint the leaf purple. Will it still count for our scavenger hunt? I think so, Pooh said. Together, they all headed to Rabbit's house. After pulling a half-filled can of paint from his closet, Rabbit delicately started painting the leaf. Everyone took a turn painting it. In no time, the leaf was a perfect grape-colored shade of purple. After giving it a little time to dry, Kanga placed the leaf in her bag next to the small pot of honey and the red flower. Now all we need to find is the greatest thing in the whole world, Piglet said. Where do you think we'll find it? Roo asked. Maybe it's hiding somewhere in the woods, Tigger suggested. Let's search the hundred acre wood, Pooh said. Together we might be able to find it. The friends searched and searched the hundred acre wood. They couldn't find the greatest thing in the world anywhere. Soon it grew quite late and dark. The friends decided to find Christopher Robin to show him how they had done on the scavenger hunt. They all held hands so no one would get lost in the dark. Finally, after what seemed like forever, 
They found Christopher Robin sitting on the same tree stump waiting for them. They had made it all the way back to where they had started. Have you finished the scavenger hunt? Christopher Robin asked. No, Pooh said sadly. But we all looked together. And we found almost everything, Tigger added. Christopher Robin smiled. Friends working together is the greatest thing in the whole world, he explained. So you did find it after all. The friends all hugged, glad they had spent a fantastic day completing the scavenger hunt together. How fun! Have you guys ever participated in a scavenger hunt? Did you like it? Searching for all kinds of things? That could be a really fun game when the weather starts to get nicer outside. But we are getting close every single day to spring. Who's excited for spring? I am. In the meantime, you guys can hunt for cool books at the library, right? We need the poo books, Brinstein Bears, Piggy and Elephant. There's so many different kinds out there. Thanks for joining me, guys. As always, I will leave you with You are important, you are smart, and you are loved. Please like and subscribe. And I will see you in my next video. Bye!